Hello, awesome art people. I'm so excited for this video because we get to paint and I love painting. So in our last video, we drew our Minecraft self-portrait here and now we're gonna go ahead and paint it. So what we're gonna first do is we're not gonna touch anything unless the, I'm touching things and then you will follow after me, okay? So notice how I don't have a brush in my hand yet or anything like that. So this is what we're calling a palette. Now in my classroom, I have palettes that are real, but I left, I'm at home right now. I forgot to bring a palette home for this video. So I just drew a picture of the palette. And a palette is just where we put paint and where we even mix paint, which we are gonna get to do some mixing today, which is super fun. So the first thing I need you to do is think in your brain, we're gonna draw our shirt, we're gonna paint our shirt first, okay? So think in your brain what color you want your shirt to be, all right? Thumbs up if you have it figured out. Okay, awesome. Now, what you're going to do is there's a blue basket in the middle of your table, and you are going to find the color pink with your eyeballs first. So you're just gonna look into the basket and look for the color that you had picked out in your brain. And then you are going to very gently pick that up now, what happens if somebody else wanted that color too? Well, you can let them have it. Um, maybe the person is letting you have it. So one of you will get to go first, okay? So we all have our paint for our shirt unless somebody else at our table has that paint and then we're just waiting nicely. So thumbs up if you're either waiting for your turn or you have your bottle of paint, okay? Okay, I'm thumbs up, I'm doing an orange red here, okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to shake it like this. Okay, good, that's all, just a little shake. And then you're just going to, where there's this like little smooth part here, you're just gonna put your thumb under and go pop like that, okay? And then we're gonna just start with using a little rectangle, okay? And we're not gonna mix a new color for a shirt. I'll let you, I'll give you a chance to do that for the pants, okay? For the shirt, we'll just use one straight from the bottle. So you're just going to put a little bit of paint into one of the little rectangles there. And of course, mine might go out of my lines because it's just a drawing. Then you are gonna put this back in the blue basket. Okay, so we should all have a circle of paint. Oh goodness me, I touched it. Don't touch it like me. I accidentally touched mine. Okay, we have a little bit of paint here and now it is time to get our brush. So now you can get a brush. Okay, it doesn't matter what size or whatever. So we're not fighting over the brushes because we can do this with any size or whatever. Okay, thumbs up if you have your brush. Okay, good. So now you can get some of that paint on your brush. There we go. And now we are painting our shirt. So go ahead and fill in your shirt now. And we're gonna fill it all the way in. And once you run out, you can get some more paint on your brush. And you might be asking, oh, but can I do two color? Can I do stripes or polka dots or draw a picture? Well, maybe another day. Maybe in another video, we can add a pattern or a picture to our shirt. But today, let's just paint it all solid. Solid just means without pattern, okay? And we're just doing like a really thin coat here. We're just smoothing it out. And let's do a hand check. Look how clean our hands are because we're not painting on our hands, right? Good, and look at your table. Did you get any paint on your table? Nope, you didn't. You're doing an awesome job keeping yourself clean and your table clean. Very good. You didn't get any paint on your clothes. I love that. Okay, and we are still painting our shirt. Now, if you already finished painting your shirt, you can just sit there and wait. You can just watch me finish. You can just watch the screen. You don't need to move on to the next step. We're gonna do everything together. I'm just smoothing mine out. Okay, good. Now you can put your paintbrush in the water cup. There should be two water cups at every table. 
one for you and the person sitting next to you. So on each side of the table, there can be a water cup, okay? So put the water cup in between you and the child next to you, not across from you, next to you, okay? Good job, you guys. Now, like I said, I'm going to let you mix two colors if you want, you don't have to, for the pants. So you're gonna think, what color do you want your pants to be? Okay, I'm gonna do, um, be uh, some blue pants like jeans okay so thumbs up if you know what color you want your pants to be and again we're just gonna make them one color today maybe we'll add designs another day okay just depends on how we behave okay now like I said you can get two colors so for instance if you want to do a light version of your color you can get white and your color if you want a dark version of your color you can get a black and and your color okay so I'm letting you get two this time so I'm going to go ahead and look for the blue in my basket so go ahead and look for your color once you see it with your eyeballs then you can reach into the basket oh and by the way our shirt color we need to put that away put the shirt color back in the blue basket if you haven't already okay now we can get our pant color out the first pant color and hey, maybe somebody already had that color. You can just wait your turn, that's fine. And like I said, I'm doing, I'm gonna actually do a light blue and there should be a white bottle in every basket. So I'm also gonna look for my, my white paint in my basket and here it is. So I have two colors. Now, somebody might've gotten the white already for you and that's okay. Maybe you wanted to make a light version of your color. Well, you just are gonna have to wait, okay? All right, so thumbs up if you have two colors or if you are tr you don't have two colors because somebody at your table has one of them and you're waiting patiently. Okay, perfect, love that you guys. Now for this, we are gonna use our big rectangle over here for our mixing colors. So let's all take our first color unless we're waiting our turn. Open it up and just put a little bit in there like about the size of a dime. Close it. Put it back in the basket, because somebody might need that. Okay, and now we're taking our second color. Pop the lid open. Pour a little out. There we go, about the size of a dime. Close that, put it back in the blue basket. Okay, now we have to take our brush and we're going to clean it. So you don't have to hold it like I'm holding it, and I'll put it down. So you push your brush on the bottom of the cup and then you swish it around on the bottom of the cup. Swish. And then we don't clink. We're not gonna hit it. We never hit things. We don't hit our paintbrush on the cup. We slide, we're very gentle in our class. We don't hit or tap or anything. We slide very gentle to get the extra water off. Okay, good. Now we have a clean brush and now you can mix those colors that you put on your palette in there. So again, these can be whichever two colors you want. And you're mixing those two. So I'm making a light blue. And you were allowed to mix two colors, whichever two colors you wanted. And we're just gonna keep mixing until there's no swirlies or anything in there. And we're still mixing and nobody has started painting their pants yet because we know we don't do anything until the video does. Okay, there we go. So now we can take our brush and paint our pants. So now we're all painting our pants. And you guys are doing really good. I'm so proud of you. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're having fun using the paint. It's a really fun way to color things in, isn't it? Now this paint that we're using today, it does not wash out of our clothes. So you gotta be so careful. This is called acrylic paint and it stains on our clothes. So, but if you get some on your hands, it will come off your hands. It will come off your nails. It will come out of your hair eventually, but not our clothes.
Okay, we should all be done coloring our pants. So now we put our brush back in the water. Yay, awesome. Great job, you guys. Okay, now next we are going to paint our hair. So you need to think what color is your hair? Well, if your hair is black, then you can look for the black in the blue basket in the middle of your table and reach in and get the black paint and then wait. We're gonna wait till we all have our paint. If your hair is blonde, you can get maybe some brown and some yellow that you will be allowed to mix together. If your hair is brown like me, I'm gonna get the brown out. Now, somebody might have already gotten the brown. That's okay, I can, we can wait patiently. If your hair is dark brown, you'll be mixing black and brown together. Okay, good. So, thumbs up if you either have your hair color or someone else at your table, table has the hair color. Okay, because yeah. sometimes that happens, right? And we know that when they're done, they'll put it in the blue basket and then we can get it out, right? So it's all good. Okay. Now, um, I am going to do dark brown. So let's all take our first color. And when we mix, we go into the big rectangle. So pop the top, put a little tiny bit like that. Put that back in the blue basket. So if somebody else wants to use it, they can use it. And now let's take our second color. Pop the top off. And sometimes you have to, there you go, give it a good little shake to make the color. There we go. Makes the funny noise, doesn't it? Okay. And close it and put it back in the blue basket in case somebody else needs it. And what are we going to do before we mix our color? We have to wash out our brush, okay? So swish on the bottom of the cup. You're going to swish, swish, swish. And then we clink to get the extra water out, right? No, oh, we slide, slide. Good job. And now we can mix our colors. Oh, and sometimes the, the paint is a little chunky. That's okay, we just keep on mixing. Sometimes it just gets like that, it's okay. The more we mix it, the smoother it gets. I might kind of push some of those clumps kind of squish some of those clumps so they're a little smoother. There we go. Pushing on those clumps. Okay. There we go. Ugh, that clump doesn't want to be squished, so I'm just not going to use it. I'm just going to ignore some of these clumps. You can go over there, clumps. I don't really want you. Okay. So, now we've got our hair color. Mine looks a lot darker on camera than it is in person. In person, it's brown. Okay. You'll see because this will be on the whiteboard probably when you do this maybe. Or it might still be at my house. I don't know. Okay, now we all have our hair color mixed. So we can go ahead and paint our hair. There we go. And anytime, if you look at the board real quick for me, this is called dry brush. So see how I'm painting and only a little bit of paint is coming off? Oh, it's dry brush. What should I do? I'm gonna get some more paint on my brush. We want it to be wet with paint. We don't want it to be like a big scoop of paint. Like not a glob of paint, but just enough to make the paintbrush wet. And again, if you're gonna give yourself like a bow in your hair or a clip or something, we can do that another day. We're just doing just the base. Oh, that was my dog. I don't know if you guys heard that. It was like a little hum, hum sound. That was my dog Leo talking. Leo, are you okay? okay. Oh, I got a clump. Go away. Okay, my clump really wants to. There we go. So we're all, if you've already finished painting your hair, you just wait, you just watch the video quietly. Meh. This little clump really wants to be on my painting.
Okay, good. Now put your brush in the water. Okay, and now it's time to do our skin tone. So the color of our skin. So um, you are now going to make that color. So um, I am a peachy color, which I have. So, there might be more than just you who is a peachy color at your table, right? So, look. For, oh, and then you might be asking, okay, well, what if I am, what if I am from, what if I'm Mexican, right? Because I don't really have brown skin, don't really have peach skin like Miss McFarland. Oh, my dog just ran into my fan. That was really funny. Are you okay? He, like, ran into my fan. Okay. So this is what you do if you are have tan skin, okay? So you'll actually mix together the peach and the brown, and that will give you a tan skin. So it'll be a bit of uh, some peach skin tone color, and then a little bit of brown, and that will make it a little bit more tan, okay? Now, if you have brown skin, of course we've got brown. What if you have light brown skin? Well, then you could get brown and white, right? Because you could mix the brown and the white together, right? So that would be cool. Okay, so let's all look. Some of us are getting two colors out. If you have light brown skin, you might be needing white and brown. If you have tan skin, you might need brown and peach. Okay, so let's look in the basket for the color that we need. And we're going to pull it out of the basket and I'm sure somebody got one of the colors that you needed, didn't they? Well, that's okay, because they're gonna put it back once they're done with it, and then you can get it, okay? And then if you did need a second color, you can look in there and grab it. If it's still in there, there's only one of every color at each table. Okay, now, we already used our two mixing spots, so we're just gonna have to, if you're mixing a color, you're gonna have to mix it in one of the little rectangles. So, just squeeze your color into your little rectangle. I only need this one color. So closing that, putting that in the blue basket, I'm going to give you guys some time. If some of you, we're all going to paint our skin tone at the same time. So first I'm going to pause the video until we all have the color or colors we need to make our skin tone. Okay. So I'm just going to sit here and wait because I know that you guys are going to have to be like sharing paint and stuff. So it's going to take a little while. Notice how I'm not painting yet. Cause I'm waiting. Okay, I'll pause the video if people are still working on getting their color. Thumbs up if you're ready. All right. So what we need to do, of course, is to clean our brush first. Swish, 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 swish. And slide, slide. There we go. And if you need to mix your color, you can go ahead and mix it. All right. And once you've got your color, we're gonna go ahead and start painting. So let's all paint our face first. And you can paint right over your pencil lines. If you do it thin enough, you'll still be able to see the pencil line underneath. And we are going to paint over, like we'll trace over our pencil line later on in a different video. So we're still working on painting our face. If you're not done with the face yet, you can just watch. Okay. And now let's paint our neck. And 
and now let's paint our hands. And if you have sleeveless, then you'll paint three squares. You have a sleeveless shirt. If you have a short sleeve skirt, you'll be painting two squares. I am I did long sleeves, so I just have to paint my hands. And over here. Okay, and that's all the skin parts. So we're gonna put our paintbrush in our water. And then we're going to clean our brush, swish, swish, swish. And let's not get out a new color for our shoes. Let's just look at what's on our palette and either use one of the colors we already have or maybe mix a couple of these colors to get a shoe color. Or you can leave it white. Okay? So, for instance, I could mix this peach and orange if I wanted for my shoes. I could experiment and see what happens if I mix blue and orange. If I wanted to do that, or I could do brown, or I could just do blue or red. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do orange. And let me show you guys something. Look up here for a second. So, I'm getting to the edge of my paper. Now, we know we don't want to get paint on the table, right? So, this is the trick, okay? I'm going to show you guys a trick. You lift the paper up like this, and while you're lifting it, then you paint it. Because check it out, then when I go over the paper, it's just hitting the air. Pretty nifty, right? So, you do that and paint the shoes. Oh, this one's a little harder. Here we go. And we're not going to paint over our name, right? We always just want to leave the name part blank. So it's easy to pass out. All right, and then put that in the water. All right, that is it for this video. I'm so proud of you guys. You did incredible. So we need to clean up our painting supplies. So all of our paint is already in the blue basket, right? Yeah. So let's clean our brush. Swish, swish, swish. Slide, slide, and then the brush goes in the blue cup. I don't have my blue cup because I'm at home. And you stick the stick part down into the rocks. So it's a nice bouquet of brushes, and the hairy part is going up towards the ceiling. Okay? And then what's going to happen is I'm going to have one student pick up all the palettes, and they're going to put them in the sink. Okay? I'm going to have two kids pick up the paintings and put them in the drying rack. And I'm going to pick a student that's going to put the paint baskets away. So make sure all your paint is in the basket. So I want everybody to look at their table. Make sure all the paint is in the basket. And then I'm also going to choose a student to put, there's clear boxes at your table. And you can put your water cup back in it. And the blue cup with the brushes should still be in it. We never got that out. So make sure that your clear box has two cups of water and a cup of brushes. And you need to make sure that the hair is sticking up. If it is not, fix it. And if there is a paintbrush in your water, fix it. We're done. Okay. And then I will call Super Quiet Tables to go wash their hands. That's going to be the next step, okay? So once your table is clean, put your head down. And that's your way of letting me know, oh, I'm done cleaning up. Um, you can let me go wash my hands now. That's just your way of letting me know that. And if I see a table where all the heads are down and everything is cleaned up, then I'm going to let that table go wash their hands in the bathroom. Now, here's the thing. How many sinks are in each bathroom? Two. So how many kids can go in the bathroom at once to wash their hands? Two. Two. Exactly. So if there's already somebody at the sink, you need to get in line and wait. And when you come back into the classroom, you can get an early finisher worksheet. And you can sit down in your seat and you can work on your worksheet quietly. Okay? You can whisper to the children next to you, but you, that's it. You can't be loud. All right. Good job, you guys. Thanks for watching.